Hi, welcome to Camisel Technologies YouTube channel. I hope you are sound and safe. And in this video, we are going to look about video assist. So the video assist series has been renewed in Blackmagic Design which means we have two different categories and four different models. So first category is the 3G model and the second category is the 12G model. So in 3G we have two models which is 5 inch and 7 inch. So basically the functionality of the 3G is it supports up to 2K and you can stream with it and you can record with the SD card and you can have the basic SDI inputs and HDMI outputs it's all the same. But in the 5 inch model you get the mini SDI and you get the full HDMI port and in basically 5 inch you don't have an XLR uh, input and in 7 inch you have an XLR input. So these are the basic uh, things for the 3G category and about the screen so this is basically a monitor right. So this 3G model has up to 300 nits brightness for the screen and it is running with Blackmagic OS. So if you are having a thousand dollars cameras or if you are having a basic uh, DSLR camera which can give you and 10 bit recording via HDMI. So this 3G model will be helpful for you. You can record in ProRes, you can record in DNX HD in 10 bit with different flavors of ProRes and different flavor of DNX HD. And let's come to this 12G model, 12G series. So this 12G is a little bit more advanced than the 3G. So the connectivity is the same. We have the SDI and HDMI inputs and outputs. It also works as a converter. You can take, give an HDMI input and take out an SDI output in a professional scenario. And about the screen is important. What the major difference between the 3G and 12G? The screen is around 2500 nits brightness and it is really really helpful when you are in a outdoor shoot and direct sunlight shoot so if you want to see the perfect image of what you are shooting. For example, we just compared with our iPhone brightness to this uh, 12G HDR's brightness and you can see the difference. And uh, if you are going for professional XLR inputs, yes we have XLR inputs and the same thing goes for the 5 inch and 7 inch micro size BNC for the 5 inch and the full size BNC for the 7 inch models. All the video assist model has an USB-C output. So about the recording, you can record in SD cards for all the four models. But if you want to record in SSD like directly to the hard disk, you have the 12G models. Two models supports the external SSD. You can connect a hard drive and you can directly record in it. And let's say if you want to stream directly to uh, Facebook or YouTube or even use as a webcam. You can use the same USB output as a webcam to your computer and use it for Facebook and YouTube live streaming or even for your video conferencing softwares like Google Meet or Zoom or Microsoft Teams. So today we are exclusively going to see about the Video Assist 12G HDR 7 inch. So here we have the video assist 12G 7 inch model. So you can see the connectivity. We have one SDI input and output and one HDMI in and output. So video assist, this is similar for all the video assist models, but you can have the micro size for the 5 inch. That is the difference. So we have NPF 570 batteries and you can mount two batteries over here, which can go for a really wrong time. And let's say you are in a production and you don't want relay on batteries, you have the power adapter connectivity over here. So you can run directly without any batteries, just connected to the straight power and you are on and going. And here you have two SD slots, both SD UHS2 supports over here. We have the headset for monitoring and we also have the LAN input for record triggering and stopping. And at the top we have the power button, so when you press the power button, you can see the video assist is turning on and you can see the video assist is on right now and we have powered on I have given a HDMI input to this and of course you can take an SA output but we are not going to see that right now so at the bottom you can see all the information so like you can start recording uh, playback stop and we have two cards and one SSD drive so if any one of them is inserted with an SD card you would be seeing this let's insert an SD card now we have an SD card over here so I'm just going to plug this in 
in slot number one. So in the moment I plug in, it'll automatically load up the first SD card and it shows you can record up to 19 minutes according to the selected codec and whatever resolution you are giving in, uh, which is from the HDMI output or SDI input. So this is according to you. So let's say uh, if you want to see in more detail, you can just press the SD card slot there and you can see how many minutes you can record and what is the size of the SD card and all those stuff. And you can, if you want, you can start formatting the card. So the touch screen is fully initiative and it is really good to have a handle over here. And the main important reason to have a video assist on a monitoring set is because you will be having different kinds of uh, waveform, vector scope, parade and histogram. For example, this is video only. And if you want to choose waveform, you can choose waveform. So you can see what is your video up to and you have parade. So you have those R, G, B and signals. So you can see what is the level. You can see the vector scope is available and you have the histogram. Uh, these details are available and you can use only that also. So now you can go to the video and you see the only the video segment available here. Otherwise, you also have a small histogram available in the left side bottom. So you can see the histogram over here. You can see. And now I have inserted one particular battery and you can see battery two. Uh, I have inserted in the second slot and you can see how much is left over here. And you can see the source, which is HDMI or SDA or stuff like that. And for the monitoring settings over here, you can select the corner button. You can select the corner button like our Blackmagic Design cameras. Everything is available over here. If you want uh, highlight uh, peaking over here, it is available. If you want to focus peaking, it is available over here. You can choose between high, medium and low. So it's exactly like our Blackmagic Design OS cameras. So there are different kinds of frame guides are available over here. You can see different kinds of frame guides. You can select and choose between different frame guides. Frame grid can also be set manually. So you also have the settings over here, 4 is to 3, 2 is to 40 is to 1, and 2 is to 39 is to 1. So normal, uh, 16 is to 9, 14 is to 9, all kinds of stuff. And you can enable and disable at any point of time you want. So you also have these grids available over here. So different kinds of grids, crosshair, center dot, uh, these kind of grids are available for your framing purposes. You also have false color available over here. You can see uh, how much your image is exposed properly and you can enable and disable. And we also have the brightness of the monitor available over here. So you can choose your brightness. So the peak brightness is, as I said, it is 2500 nits. You can keep highest brightness possible. But as of now, we are inside a room and the 50% will do. So brightness, contrast and saturation are available over here. So if you ask me if these things will affect my recorded content over here, no, it is only for the monitoring purpose, nothing other than that. So this is brightness, this is contrast and this is your uh, saturation. So these are the settings available over here. And if you want to go for an extensive, you have a small settings button in the top select the settings button. So in what input the source is going on, you can have a look, SDI or HDMI. As of now, we have connected HDMI, so it is over here. And we have Blackmagic RAW recording in supported cameras, but we have selected in process. Let's say, if I select Blackmagic RAW and come to out of the settings, it says codec not supported and you don't get the image over here. That is because we need to have a support, supported third party camera to have a proper uh, Blackmagic RAW recorder here. You'll see it in another video. So if you select ProRes, you get the image, you, you can see the progress, you can see the progress over here and you get the image normally. Okay, so progress and DNX has, as you know, it is a 10 bit image, so you can record 10 bit and you can choose from different flavors over here, you can just swap right and you can see this triggering record. So let's say trigger record, if you are using a camera out there, so when you record, when you hit record in the camera, it starts recording here also, it is great for proxy as well. So that is one important stuff. And let's go to the monitoring settings. So it's the same settings that we saw in the front screen, but it, it is available in on off button over here. So I'm just going to scrub through. And we have the focus as this color. So if you want to change the parameters of the settings, uh, for example, if I need the focus assist in green, you can choose green. And we have the peaking uh, color lines, focus assist type, colored lines or peaking. So those kind of settings can be uh, available over here. So in video assist, basically you can record uh, after two channels plus if you want to extend you can go up to 16 channels of audio which is the a normal SDI would be carrying uh, with embedded with the video so you can go up to 16 channels and 
you can record all the 16 channels in the same uh, video file itself so that is one great feature to that we need to understand over here so we have mic input and line input so if you are coming from a mixer you can go with the line input and if you are directly connecting a mic you can go with the mic and here you can check uh, set the intensity of your mic or line input so you have 16 channels and you can monitor two at a time so that's really helpful so you can choose which channel alone you wanted to uh, monitor and setup is basically for the video assist setup so you can change your video assist name so you can change your date and time or your language uh, you can see what version it is available over here okay so this is the tally brightness so i'll just show you what tally is all about so when you hit record and the moment you hit record so there is a tally light indicator over here in the back so this is basically shows you okay this is recording video assist is recording so when i stop it you can see when i stop it it goes off but when i start it again you can see the tally light indicator so this settings is basically in the setup page is basically for that particular tally light only and if you swipe right you can see the video input if you want the time code input from the camera or your hyperdeck or any of the camera you can choose it over here so in this setup page we have the settings for time code either you can have it internally or you can plug in via external so in this page you can choose your uh, file name uh, which is going to be recorded you can customize your file name and you can choose what type of 3g sda signal which is coming in so we already have pre-loaded LUTs available in video assist you can simply just hover over the LUTs and you can choose different LUTs but however if you want third party LUTs or customized LUTs you can always create and uh, resolve or download and you can import via SD card and apply to your videos and check so this 12G model uh, video assist can record Blackmagic RAW for the supported cameras in upcoming videos we'll be seeing how to shoot Blackmagic RAW with third party cameras and how to use it in resolve so stay tuned and stay safe.